Okay guys, so I have a new video for you guys today from 2010 Mazda 3. Um, this is going to be a quick video, something short, uh, something easy. Uh, this is something uh, common for this, uh, for this um, particular cars. Um, so I'm going to show you something. My car is on right now, right? I already jacked up, but it's on. So, um, so I'm going to show you, how, if you guys have this problem, I'm gonna give you the solution, okay? So let's put it off, okay? So now let's put it on. It doesn't do anything, okay? So if something happens like that, is what you can do is try to move this one here, okay? So what you can do is give just uh, the contact and then uh, move your uh, move your shift stick here. Ah, there you go. Okay, so as you see, I'm gonna put it on. I mean, off again. It might gonna give you the same problem. So let's see. Okay, so sometimes uh, since right now is the sensor is touching, it, it will give you contact okay so now let's say if you if you come in here let's say you drive right you drive you come to uh, come home and you park right you park the car shut the car off and nothing now see so it's because they we have a sensor that is not touching correctly see so you have to like move okay okay there you go so I'm gonna give you the the, um, the answer here. So I'm gonna shut the car off, okay? I'm gonna shut the car off now. And I'm gonna show you where the problem is, okay? So let me see if I have them parking. Yes, I have them parking. So um, so you, I don't, I don't really jack the car. What you're gonna do is you jack the car on the, uh, so you can come on this side, on the, on the driver, driver side, okay? So you're gonna come in here and I'm gonna show you here, right here. I already put some W40, okay? So what you can do is, um, you can put some W40 and uh, knock a little bit with something. I'm gonna see if I can, if I can knock it with something here. Okay, so all this rusty stuff, Okay, look at it. 
so this, if this one has so much rusty on it, it's not gonna move it the way it's supposed to, okay? So that's why it's not gonna go like, all, let's say all the way in or something like that. And it's not gonna read the sensor and then you won't be able to turn the car on, okay? These cars sometimes have this problem. So as you see, the oxide is coming from here. Um, the, rust, the rust from the metal is coming. So I hope it, it will, uh, see, look, look, all this, uh, all this rusty from the metal that is coming out. So this is gonna be uh, something good for you. So, uh, so I'm gonna clean and then I'm gonna show you the results, okay? All right, guys, so as you see, I try to clean as much as I can. I mean, I put W40 and all this uh, stuff, so it got cleaner already. So let's see. I mean, I can't remove all the rust, but let's see what the reactions are now. As you see, I showed you before, right? Okay. Let's see. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna put it off. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move this one here. Let's say I'm coming home. I put parking. All right, guys. So I'm gonna put it off again. Okay, so let's uh, see if I can move. I'm gonna park. All right, guys. So this is the solution for the uh, usually 2010 uh, uh, Mazda 3. So most of the Mazdas are similar. So here's a hint. Thank you so, for, so much for watching this video. And if this uh, video was helpful, please uh, thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe so we can keep watching the videos. Uh, see you next time guys. Thank you for all my subscribers for uh, being my support and see you next time